welcome back. I am gonna be doing a project to document December Daily and just how it was my big purchase of the year. And I will be using the new Worth the Hype stamp set from Christine and also the Holiday Magic Traditions. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do as far as design. I have a traveler's notebook page. I'll put it across and I'll probably just cluster um, the stamps around it. So I am excited to put it together and thanks for joining me again. Okay, so I put the photo down and I'm gonna mark it so that way I know where to cut it and where to put the adhesive down. And then I go to my trimmer and I trim it and I think I, I don't even know what's the smallest increment. I wound up cutting it, um, I goofed a little bit and it hangs over a little bit like an eighth of an inch or something, but it's fine, it will be fine. And I will just carry on. And then I'm gonna glue down the other side and then I'm gonna start stamping. I'm gonna take um, a star punch and use the star punch to decorate the overall spread. So I just have a piece of paper and I'm taking the different prompts and I'm just stamping them in a cluster and then I will hold, um, I was gonna say hole punch, but star punch them and then I have a cute little um, star that has a bunch of phrases on it. And I'm just gonna keep repeating this until I have a bunch of them. This one, it says favorite tradition and then I stamped the circle. And then this one says Mary and then I'm gonna stamp um, something in green, I think it said feeling festive, and then I'm going to do tis the season and a bow. So sticking with all of those greens and reds, my favorite color scheme for Christmas. I don't know. I'm traditional, I guess. Also stamping a few other sentiments that I can use on the spread and then the ones from the splurge set I'm just doing in black. That way they stand out and are a little bit uh, more noticeable because I don't know about anybody else, but <laughs> December daily I go crazy for all the new goodies. I usually try to rein myself in, but it is my biggest probably purchase of the year. So. I definitely wanted to document it when I saw this stamp set. So all the stamp sentiments are totally perfect. Um, the finally it's here, big splurge, and unboxing. So just perfect. So I'm going to cut those out and then um, turned off the camera and I cut them out. And I also punched all the stars and I punched a few vellum pieces as well. I just didn't want you guys to have to sit through all of that. Now I'm gonna build this spread, and like I said in the introduction, I'm just gonna cluster it around the page. I think I'm gonna wind up creating um, four sections, I think, or three sections, sticking to the triangle type theme. I also am, like I said, adding in some vellum. So I just um, used my star punch, and I had two um, I think I wound up using two red puffy stars from a past December daily kit. So I am using those as well. I also am covering up that negative space over on the left hand side um, where you can see my ugly kitchen. So I'm covering that up and that's something I like to do is cover up the negative space because it's not necessary for um, the project. You just don't need it and you can use it to your advantage. I am just laying down all the different uh, pieces and then I'm pop dotting a few of the stamped phrases um, like the splurge piece and I think I'm going to pop dot one more of those. So and I'm just going to keep going until I have put everything on the page and then I'm going to stamp a few stars towards the end like little tiny stars. So, and I know that this green vellum doesn't necessarily match. I wish I would have had a darker vellum, green vellum, but it's okay. It, it adds a brightness to the spread, which is just fine with me. Adding a little bit of glue to that red puffy star because I didn't know if it had its stickiness still. So I um, wanted to make sure it would stick down. And I was tucking it underneath that particular star and just trying to make sure I have things the way I want them. Also, you may have noticed the back of this paper has something on it, and I just recycled this paper. It, 
it was, I don't know, I think a printing that went wrong from a long time ago and I just reused it. That's what I like to do. I like to reuse the paper as much as I can. Here's the little stars that I am stamping and then I'm gonna do a few in black and I'm also gonna take a very small uh, circle stamp and I'm gonna stamp that in some dark green ink as well and that will wrap up this page. So pretty simple overall, a simple design, just using stamps and vellum and a photo, and that's about it. So it was really fun layout to put together. This is the black or the little circle that I'm using. So now it is done. I'm just gonna tuck in one more little star piece that I wanted to add there, and then I'm gonna put it in my Life Crafted album, and it's done. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this quick page come together and seeing how just a little bit of stamps can go a long way. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel and wanna keep seeing my videos. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching.